Now I'll give you some instructions on how to use China Art Library. Click Login button on the top right corner, and enter your username and password. If you do not log in, you can only use search function but cannot view any album. After logging into the database, you can click My Account and check the albums you have subscribed to. Now let's first look at the search function. The platform allows search by subjects and albums. Subject search covers album, title, and the full text of album introduction, and you can use both Chinese and English as the search term. For example, if you enter Donghuang in the search bar, you will get over 4,000 search results. You can sort the results by relevance or publication date. You can also check the box before subscribe to narrow down the search results to the resources you have subscribed. On the left side of the page is the filter column and you can filter the search results by resource types, publishers and publication year. Let's say paintings published after 1971 and the search results will be narrowed down to 313 resources. Let's click one of the search results and get to the picture page. Below the picture name is the share button by which you can share the picture to social platforms like Twitter and Facebook. Click the picture and you can enlarge, shrink, rotate or flip the picture to get its details. Following the pictures of introduction, source, and albums, you can click albums and check other pictures including an album. In related reference work section, you can click the name to see similar pictures. On the bottom of the page is the research progress, including journals, doctoral dissertations and master thesis, and conference proceedings related to picture, which helps to gain a better understanding. Next, let's get back to the home page and switch to search by album. Under this search condition, you can enter album title publisher or ISBN number to find the album you want. For instance, enter Gong Yi and you will get all the albums related to it. On the al album page, you will see basic information about this album. On the right side is the list of the pictures. We have three different index methods of pinyin stroke, and subject classification, for which you can quickly find the picture you need. You can also use the search bar to find the picture within the album. If you want to get more accurate search results, you can get to the advanced search page. and. Enter your search terms by subjects, albums, or publishers. Now let's get back to the home page and see the newly available section. Here we have newly available resources of paintings, calligraphy, and silk cutting, sculpture, photography, and folk art. You can check the latest resources by different resource types. In the following featured series section, you can click See More to check all the featured series, like Crafts Masters in China and the Classical Chinese Paintings in Foreign Collections. And last, the Exhibition section will show you the information of the exhibitions about Chinese art. You can filter the information by keywords, region, and date. And this information will be continuously updated. 
Okay, that's all for China Art Library introduction. Thank you for your attention.